Hello, I'm James Choi from Connectivity R&D. Today we live in a world where we see wireless audio in every corner of our lives. It is not uncommon to see people with wireless earbuds, whether they are walking, exercising, or gaming. With a wide spread of wireless earbuds, we also so need for quality experience with new features such as 360-degree audio and support for extended ecosystem. And together with Google's Android platform, and Qualcomm's connectivity chipset. Our engineers have worked very hard to create amazing new wireless audio experience for Samsung Mobile and Bird users. And now, Yunshik from our team will take you through the detail of DG features and how to use them. Hope you enjoy. Hello. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Yunshik Be from connectivity team at Samsung. And today, I am excited to share our presentation regarding the audio at Samsung and our ecosystem around it. I am confident that this will be the future of the wireless audio. I will briefly start off with Airy Audio standard, then go into services using the Airy Audio, and the instruction on how to use them with a code review. So starting with the Airy Audio, the Bluetooth technology has kept evolving to provide more and more services like wireless voice call, music, file transfer, and many other low energy applications. In the recent year, we have witnessed an explosive market expansion of wearable and hearable devices. And there is a rapid growing demand for new and complex services. However, the conventional Bluetooth technology was not able to keep up with this growing market demand. Firstly, legacy Bluetooth used SBC codec, but its sound quality and compression performance was not in par against later proprietary codec solutions. Secondly, legacy Bluetooth supports single stream based services and it was not stable for multi-stream audio devices, such as TWS hearing aids. Third, new and complex scenarios, such as simultaneous voice and music playing, is not possible in legacy Bluetooth due to its protocol limitations. Chipset companies and device manufacturers have tried to overcome these limitations by developing their own exclusive solutions. And this trend led the industry to suffer from excessive competitions, more development cost, and lack of interoperability. So establishing a standard Ariodius protocol is significant to overcome these limitations. And Samsung Galaxy product intend to provide an environment where users can experience new and complex scenario in Bluetooth audio with various third parties as well as Samsung product. Next, let us look at the key characteristics of the LE Audio standard. With LE, we are aiming to provide new experiences. First of all, instead of SBC, LC3 codec is adopted by Bluetooth SIG as a mandatory codec, where LC3 codec provides improvement in power consumption and sound quality. Next, unlike legacy Bluetooth, which only allowed single stream services, LE Audio is designed to support asynchronous channel-based streaming protocol and expand into multi-stream services. Additionally, the LE Audio provides both connection-based and non-connection-based communication services that enable various new and complex scenarios, such as multi-channel recording, simultaneous voice and music services, broadcasting, and hearing aids. Samsung Galaxy product will provide the following features to third parties based on the flexibility of LE Audio specification. We first focused on developing high quality audio experience using S3 codec and multi-streaming audio services. And we are planning to develop audio sharing and hearing aids in the near future. 
Eddie Audio of Samsung Galaxy product will provide telephony and media audio profile service corresponding to hands-free and A2P profile of legacy Bluetooth for multi-stream. For legacy Bluetooth, only one of the TWS is actually connected to the phone where it receives the data for both left and right, which then synchronize and relate the data to the other side. This is inefficient in terms of power consumption, sound quality, or latency. The communication and synchronization between left and right earbuds were previously band-specific solutions, which led to inter-device compatibility issues. On the other hand, Eddie Audio supports isochronous channel-based multi-stream. Now, Phones establish separate connection with both of the earbuds and is able to synchronize them with isochronous channels. The classic A2DP and hands-free profiles can now be replaced with any audio standard. As the usage of wearable and hearable device increase, so does the requirement for low power and high quality services. To meet this requirement, Many manufacturers provide various optional codec, which increase the development and management cost. Since the LED audio specification mandates the use of LC3 codec, which is commercially available, it is possible to provide improved services such as power consumption and sound quality. Classic audio supported MSBC codec at 60 kHz and SBC codec at 44.1 kHz and 48 kHz. LC3 codec supports a wide length of sampling rate from 8 kHz to 48 kHz for both voice and media and has excellent compression rate. LC3 codec can provide excellent sound quality with efficient transmission compared to the SBC codec of Legacy Bluetooth. And now, we want to highlight the following two new features from the advanced features of Eddy Audio. First is binaural recording. Devices equipped with left and right microphones, such as TWS, can capture both left and right data with 48 kHz high quality audio from each side. Using the iSynchronous channel and SS3 codec, you can transmit microphone data from left and right earbuds to mobile to be synchronized. This feature will be implemented into our camera application in Samsung Galaxy product. With this, we will be able to provide a high quality stereo recording experience at 48 kHz sampling rate, which is not possible in mono recording setup. Next feature is voice back channel. In a gaming setup, users often need to use voice chat while paying attention to gaming audio source at the same time. With legacy Bluetooth, game sound quality is compromised when voice chat is active due to downsampling of gaming audio in the core channel. The legacy Bluetooth specification regarding hands-free and A2P profiles does not provide a standard for this scenario. However, with the audio, we can simultaneously support 16 kHz voice and 48 kHz stereo sound through multi-channel isochronous streams. As long as gaming applications support this, users can enjoy voice chat and high-quality audio without compromise. These features will first be supported by Galaxy Z Fold 4 and Z Flip 4 with One UI 5.0 update. And it will be supported by our Galaxy Buds 2 Pro in an upcoming software update. Now, all these features can be supported by third-party applications with Android Development API. First, let's check out the API to see whether any audio is supported. In Android API level 33, is any audio supported API is added to check whether the 
phone support Eddie Audio. Note that this can be used when Bluetooth is turned on. The Bluetooth Eddie Audio class is a proxy object for controlling Eddie Audio services through IPC. And it can be used by calling get profile proxy API in the same way as other existing Bluetooth profiles. Also, Eddie Audio type of Bluetooth profile is added to API level 33. You can always check at Android developer site for more information. Next, let's look at the how to get information on the Eddie Audio connection status. Unlike legacy Bluetooth, Eddie Audio has two devices, right and left earbuds. So they have their own connection status and both are managed as a group. You can receive connection status for each of the devices on the same group through the intent. API level 33 provides get group ID API and get connected group lead device API, where you can check group ID and lead device using them. This slide is a guide to developing VoIP or voiceback channel. You can get currently configurable communication devices through the Get Available Communication Device API from Audio Manager. If there is a BLE device, you can set the path to BLE through Set Communication Device API. And if you want to cancel the previously set BLE path, you can always call the Clear Communication Device API. The link below leads to Android developer site regarding audio path and has been added API level 31. Please note that set communication device API only operate when mode in communication is set. Next is your guide for recording. In order to record through the BLE, it is necessary to check whether the BLE path is currently available at the time of recording. By using get devices inputs as a parameter of get device API, you can get a list of currently configured devices. If there is a BLE device on the audio device input list, you can change the path through the set preferred device API. Please note that when using set preferred device API, audio mode operates only in a normal mode, not in core mode. The Eddy Audio is designed to provide innovative mobile experience. And I kindly ask our fellow developers to join us and shape the future of the wireless audio together. Of course, this amazing achievement was obtained together with a strong partner collaboration. Thank you to Google and Qualcomm for your contributions. Hello, Samsung developer community. I hope you all are enjoying this great event. I wish I could be there in person, but it's an absolute honor to meet you all virtually. I'm Satish Karnakaran, Director of Android Platform Connectivity at Google. I'm immensely privileged to have this stage to feature the impactful and incredible collaboration between Samsung, Google, and Qualcomm in Bluetooth LE Audio. Low Energy LE Audio is a foundational next generation high fidelity wireless audio standard built to enable new use cases to share audio with friends and family or subscribe to the public broadcast for information and entertainment and most importantly provide a much better hearing aid solution. LE Audio is designed from the ground up to ensure that the users can receive high fidelity audio with a very minimal impact to the battery life and lets them seamlessly switch between different devices around them. For the last year, our teams in Google, Samsung, and Qualcomm have collaborated very closely to build the standard certified Bluetooth stack. We are happy to announce that Android 13 adds a full stack support for LE Audio. We can't wait to see this adopted across the Android ecosystem, including the peripheral manufacturers, so that the developers and ecosystem partners can benefit from these new capabilities added in Android 13. Finally, we are looking forward and thrilled to see all the exciting use cases and the high fidelity immersive audio experiences 
that you all, the Samsung developer community, will come up on this absolutely gorgeous Galaxy Z Fold 4 and Z Flip 4 featuring Android 13. With that, thank you so much, Samsung team, for having me as part of this esteemed developer conference. And to the developer community, please enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you. Hello, Samsung Developer Conference. I'm Dino Beckus, Vice President and General Manager at Qualcomm's mobile and consumer connectivity business, and very honored to have the opportunity to highlight the incredible work Samsung and Qualcomm are doing together in the area of Bluetooth low energy audio. LE Audio technology allows you to share audio wirelessly in new and innovative ways. Together, Qualcomm and Samsung have developed a great solution delivering a realistic 360 degree sound and ensuring that the world you hear while recording is precisely what's heard on playback. These types of new experiences only succeed through deep collaboration and together with key players like Google we are driving industry-wide adoption. For instance, LE Audio is achieving wider deployment than ever which is so important for developers as part of Google's Android T release. I am very proud of how our engineering teams work together without boundaries to deliver a complete Bluetooth stack with these LE Audio capabilities for the just announced and absolutely amazing Galaxy Z Fold 4 and Z Flip 4 featuring Qualcomm's Fast Connect solution. Together, Qualcomm, Samsung, and all of you are leading the way to the most deeply immersive and thrilling audio experiences ever. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for what's next. Thank you so much, and enjoy the conference. Thank you, Yunshik, Satish, and Dino. And many thanks to all our colleagues at Google, Qualcomm, and Samsung. In making this possible, with all benefit from LE Audio, I'm confident that this technology will hit mainstream in the near future. So, please join us in this path and let us shape the future of wireless audio together. Thank you for your time with us, and we look forward to seeing you again. Thank you.